Hey everybody, I'm Alan from UDAV, and today we're going to talk about how to terminate or how to put connectors on your subwoofer cable. So before we start, this is very important. This is called a faceplate here, and these little squares, just like that. And this is, it's round, and it's kind of hard to see, but there's actually, it's actually a square cutout. I know it's kind of hard to see, but it's round, but there's a square cutout, same shape as this, okay? So this is a faceplate. And these are called keystones. It's very important for what we're going to talk about today. Okay, faceplate, and these are keystones, keystone inserts, I might call them inserts. So, with that in mind, let's go to the table. Now that you know what a keystone plate is, and you know what keystones are, I'm going to show you a little bit about keystones. We're going to talk about what these keystones are, why that's significant. So this is a keystone here, okay? At the plate, you're looking at the front of it, like that. This is the side view. So this is the part that's behind the wall. So when you're doing your subwoofer cable, most likely you've ran an RG6 cable or if you ran an RG59, whatever it's gonna be. So you have one end of the wire is over at your rack and the other end of the wire is over here behind the keystone plate. So you need to choose what type of keystone insert you're gonna use. Um, this is totally dependent upon you. Um, and you don't have to do like an RCA. You can use whatever you want. So your subwoofer is going to want an RCA cable. At the end, it's going to want an RCA connection just like that. That's what's going to connect to your powered subwoofer. So at the end, it needs to be this. But how you get to this, you can get there a lot of different ways. So instead of using a keystone plate like you saw just a second ago, you can just get a flat plate with a hole in the wall. Or, sorry, a flat plate with a hole in it. Uh, like a 3 8 hole and then the wire can come right out of the hole you put a connector on it just like this plug that into the back of your subwoofer put a, another connector like this on the other end of the wire that's over at your AV rack or behind your AV components and so you just go RCA to RCA and that'll be it that's one way to do it um, I personally don't like coming out of the wall with the wire so like just that hole and then coming out of the hole with the wire I don't like that I think it looks kind of tacky, and if for some reason you don't want the subwoofer to be there, or you move, or whatever, that wire is always going to be sticking out. That kind of looks like 70s. I don't like it. So I like to use keystones. But you might not, not want to use a keystone, because as you can see, a keystone is essentially a splice, right? Because I'm going to put one end of the wire, I'm going to screw one end of the wire to the back, and then I'm going to screw another wire onto the front, and that's going to go into your subwoofer. So... Um, I'm sure there's a measurable degradation in quality. You can't hear the difference in quality, but I'm sure that if you had some kind of scope or some kind of high-tech equipment, you might be able to scientifically measure the difference, but um, it's not worth it to me. I would rather, to me, it's worth the sacrifice for the looks. So I like to use a keystone plate. So how do we connect it? Well, um, like we said, one end of the wire is going to be on your equipment rack, and that one has to have an RCA cable. Okay, this is going to back into the back of your. Um, this is going to plug into the back of your receiver, and the back of your receiver also wants an RCA cable. There's no reason to do one of these guys, a keystone behind your receiver, because you're going to have a big bundle of wire coming out that has all of your speaker cables and probably your cable box wiring, and your subwoofer cable. They're all going to be in that bundle. Hopefully, you don't do plates. Hopefully, you just have the wire come directly out of the wall and go right into the equipment because that is a lot of splicing, right? I don't like to splice speaker wires. Those come loose and you do lose some quality there. You have a lot of um, potentials for errors. So I don't like to splice spe speaker cables. So I bring all those wires right out of the wall, the subwoofer cable included, and there's gonna be an RCA connector on the end of that and that plugs right into the back of your surround sound receiver. Okay, so this end right here, this is the end that's bare. It's coming out of the wall and this is the end that's gonna end up going into my subwoofer um, after we do some stuff to it. So like I said, you can come right out of the wall, go into the back of your subwoofer. I don't like to do that. So I like to use a keystone. So you can see here this keystone, don't know if you can tell in the video, but this keystone has threads on the back and it has threads on the front, okay? This is perfectly fine for a subwoofer. As a matter of fact, anytime I have um, a connection inside the wall, I want it to have threads. So uh, if this is my subwoofer cable, I would strip it just like this. Okay, this is a uh, this is RG6 wire, so this is an RG6 stripper. It's already been configured. Give her a couple spins. I have a whole video. I'm just going to briefly do this. I have a whole video that shows how to do this. If you look up how to make RCA cables, um, it'll show you our other video. 
So just real quick, make sure none of the wires are touching the middle. Okay, that looks really good. All my braid is pushed back. RG6 F connector goes onto the back just like that. Give her a little crimpy poo. Uh no, -oh, a little tight. A little tight and my tool got stuck. Uh oh. Had the setting too tight. Okay, so this is my RG6 F connector coming out of the wall, and I'm gonna put this into the back of my keystone. All right, that goes into the back of my keystone, just like you saw on the plate. This would then click into the back of the plate. It clicks into the back of the plate. I won't show you how. Uh, that's super easy. You just click it in. Okay, then you screw the plate on and it looks just like the video or the picture at the beginning of the video. We just have this little keystone. Now, it might confuse somebody because somebody who's new to the house or if you sell the house, whatever, they're not gonna understand why you have an F connector here. They're gonna think that's a cable jack because it looks like a cable jack. So this is kind of just for you unless you tell the homeowner you can put a label, you can put like a printed label on it that says subwoofer, however you wanna do it. But I like to put the, the threads in the back for sure now I also like to have the threads in the front. The reason I like to have the threads in the back is because I don't want this to come off. I don't want it to come loose. I don't want to have any problems like that. So I like to put a nice tight connector right there. That's good. And then when I'm looking at my plate, it looks just like at the beginning of the video. It looks just like that. And then I can take this, and this is a new wire. Okay. This is a new wire that I can make where I can put an F connector on one side and an RCA on the other. And then I can take this wire here, plug it into the front of my keystone, screw it on like that. And then I know it's never gonna come loose. Okay, that's gonna be a good, nice, tight connection that's never gonna come loose. And this side is my RCA. And then, bloop, plug that into my subwoofer. Doesn't have to be like that. You can also do something like this. There's combinations of things that you can do. This right here, this is a different style keystone. This has threads in the back and has an RCA in the front. You can do that too. In this case, you would screw it into the back just like we did before, just like that. You screw it into the back and then you would take another subwoofer cable and you'd plug it into the front. Ugh and then you have an RCA. So this is an RCA to an RCA. You can do that. Um, either way works. Either way, however you want it to, um, however you want it to look, is how it's gonna work. But either way works. So this way where you have an F connector going to the back, inside the wall, and then the RCA that goes to your surround sound receiver. And then you'd also have to have an RCA to an RCA, or you can do this style. F connector in the back, whoops, F connector in the back, RCA to your surround sound receiver, two, an F connector in the front with an RCA going to your subwoofer cable. So both of those work. You can also do an RCA in the back. If you wanna do an RCA in the back and an RCA on the front, they make barrels, all kinds of different um, varieties of barrels. We call the barrel, the actual piece of metal is the barrel. Um, the keystone is kind of the plastic thing that clicks in, and the barrel is the part that goes inside of it. And so the barrels are interchangeable. You can put different ones on there. See there's a little nut on the back. See a little nut on the back of the barrel right there? That locks it in place. So um, if you look at the description underneath the video, look down there. We'll um, provide some links so that you guys can go to Amazon and get the right stuff. Um, if you guys have any questions. Oh, please, um, please click the links below because when you click the links below, um, Amazon gives us a little kickback. You guys don't pay anything extra, but we get a little kickback and it kind of uh, encourages us to keep making videos. Um, so please do it that way. If you guys have any questions or some videos that you want to see that we haven't made yet, please comment below and tell your friends how much you like us and um, subscribe. So as always, I'm Alan and today we did AV, now you do AV.